Hello friends! Thank you so much for joining me today in this video. I'm glad you stopped by. If you're new, my name is Laura and this is my channel, Classic Kit Frugal, where I share our daily lives, a cut from our lives, where we try to live a simple life on a budget, but a good life. You know, I don't believe in living on such a budget that we can't enjoy, that we can't do good things, that we can't travel. But all within reason, right? So um, join me as I share some of these tips. I'm also on Facebook if you'd like to join me on there. Today, I have a little announcement to make. And if you've watched the last couple of videos, you may have already guessed. I'm expecting, I am expecting our second child. I already have a little girl. Her name is Esther. She's one and a half now. And I am about 16 weeks pregnant. I don't think I'm when I'm filming this about 16 weeks and yeah, a couple days. So I'll be almost 17 weeks by the time I upload this video. But um, I wanted to just share a little bit about this pregnancy, what's been happening in the first trimester, and then how I hope, because I do hope to uh, give updates on this channel and just keep you guys updated. So the last few months for me have been a little bit rough. I know for lots of people, um, my pregnancy hasn't been that hard, but for me, compared to what I've had before, it was a difficult pregnancy, and of course, it's just different having a toddler, having a 19 month old, it just makes it different. I'm more tired, I have to do stuff with her. So some things had to go out of my schedule, and unfortunately for a few months, I just stopped posting on YouTube and actually my Facebook as well just because I decided that it wasn't a priority I needed to put my family as a bigger priority and also myself, my health, my sanity. Um, you know, some mornings it's been challenging to eat breakfast, so that's more of a priority. <laughs> it's not been easy, it's not been easy at all, but that's okay. I am now into my second trimester, obviously, at 16 weeks and I'm feeling much better. I've got a lot more energy and I'm feeling much, much better. So I hope to um, keep going with my videos. Um, I will be trying to post Monday and hopefully Wednesday as well, but Monday for sure on my channel. So um, please subscribe if you're not already subscribed for more, more videos. And pregnancy related, I'm thinking for now since it's still pretty early on, to do monthly updates. So I'm thinking every time I go to see the midwife, I might just do an update right after that because that will give me more information about how everything's doing. Um, but to give a slight recap of what's been going on, I got pregnant in January and um, the first three months, everything went really, really well. I just had morning sickness and was really tired. I was surprised how tired I was. With my baby Esther, when I was pregnant with Esther, I was not this tired. I was not near as tired. I don't know if it's simply just a different pregnancy or if life has changed and having a toddler makes it different. I'm, I'm not sure, but I was so tired. Like sleeping 12, 14 hours per day. <laughs> all night and then a nap in the day. So I was really, really tired. Um, other than that though, everything went well. I have opted out of getting my 12, 13 week dating ultrasound. Um, and I will be going into more detail about why I'm not getting as many tests and as many ultrasounds this time. In a future video, watch probably next week, I will be posting another video about some of my goals and where I want to see what I, where I want to go with this pregnancy. But I decided not to go for my 12 week ultrasound. However, baby's heartbeat is really, really healthy. I'm measuring, you know, really well on, although I feel like I'm showing a lot. And so everything, everything's really positive. I am with a midwife. I am with the same midwife that I was with for my first baby, Esther. 
and that is really wonderful. One of the things I like about having a midwife is very, very personalized care. I'm able to call her if I have concerns and if I'm having any problems, I can just give her a call and she's able to see whether I need to be checked out or if everything is normal. I've already gained about 10 pounds um, to my pre-pregnancy weight to now I was 130 pounds. I'm about 140 pounds now already. But like I said, I feel like I'm showing really early. Like I feel like I'm really big early. So I suppose that's to be expected that I'm weighing more considering I've already got a baby bump. Other than that, I hope that you will stick around for more updates and more videos. I do intend to do um, a kind of a goals video on my pregnancy. Also videos about um, essential oils that I do and do not use during pregnancy. And of course, closer to the end, I will be doing birth plan videos and all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe and I will also be keeping up with my other content as well. So thank you for joining us and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye!